The S&P TD Mix Vent Fan is a fan you can truly fit and forget with easy installation and minimal maintenance. In this video we will install and wire a TD fan to exhaust a bathroom. First let's review what tools you need to install the TD fan. For this demonstration we are using a TD150 kit which includes a TD150 fan, PG grill for the intake, and a PER-W louvered shutter. You will also need a drill with a Phillips head drill bit, drywall knife, scissors or flex duct shears, duct, we are using 6 inch insulated flexible duct, worm clamps to connect the duct, duct tape can also be used instead of clamps, screws, 1 and 1 half inch drywall screws work well, silicone caulk for installation of the PG grill, a NM cable connector 1 half inch trade size for 7 8 inch knockout, a switch to control the fan, 14.2 or 14.3 Romex or MC cable for wiring the fan to the switch. We are utilizing 14.3 to utilize both high speed or low speed operation. You will also need a utility knife and flathead screwdriver with 1 8 inch tip. Now let's install our TD fan. First install the PG grill duct collar by cutting the insulation and sealing to size over the area you want to exhaust. If your attic has blown in insulation, simply clear the insulation from the area to give you room to work to cut the sealing opening. If you choose to connect one side of the duct before you affix the duct collar, you can. This is a personal preference. Then secure the collar to the sealing joist using mounting flanges on the collar. Now you will secure the TD mounting flange to the sealing joists. We recommend installing the fan 8 to 12 feet from the intake to reduce noise at the point of exhaust. Next secure the duct to the intake side of the mounting flange by inserting the worm clamp on the inner duct, then tightening the clamp and pulling the insulated duct over the duct collar to ensure a tight seal. At the PG grill duct collar, cut the duct to size and secure the duct to the PG grill using another worm clamp. Finish the duct connection on the exhaust side of the mounting flange and secure using a worm clamp. At this point we will wire and install the motor. Please note it is important that you adhere to and obey all local wiring codes. Start by removing the junction box cover and remove the caution tag. Notice that this fan is double insulated and therefore does not have a ground connection. The junction box cover has a wiring diagram so keep this within reach for reference. Now install the NM cable connector into the hole of the junction box. Before you mount the fan motor to the mounting flange, make sure the intake ring is on the intake side of the fan. The purpose of this cone is to help the air flow smoothly to the fan blades. Slide the fan motor into the mounting flange and tighten the metal clamps to ensure a tight seal. Before you fully tighten the clamps, you can position the motor and junction box at the most convenient angle for wiring, or you can wire the fan prior to securing the motor to the flange if space is limited. If the capacitor is loose, as shown here, place it back inside the junction box. Insert the wire through the NM cable connector and tighten the connector screws. Please note, you will not use a ground wire, so tuck this away to avoid connecting it. We will be wiring the fan to use both high and low speed, so the white lead wire will be installed first, then the black wire for high speed, and then the red wire for low speed. If you only want your fan to operate on high speed, cap the red wire and tuck it into the junction box as this wire will not be used. Once all the wires are secured, replace the junction box cover. To install the wall switch, first connect the ground to the switch. Our actor is not an electrician and missed this step. Even though the fan is not necessary to ground, the switch should be grounded. Then secure the black wire from the power circuit to the switch, and finally secure the black wire from the fan to the switch for high speed and the red to the switch for low speed. 
Secure the wall switch onto the wiring box and install a switch plate cover. For our last step, we will install the PG grill by applying caulk around the hole for a tight seal and inserting the grill into the duct collar. Now you can run your TD fan and know you will have worry-free bathroom exhaust for years to come. For more information on the TD or any other S&P fans, visit solairepalau-usa.com.